Um, I'm not going to go into the details of scales because scales is more complicated for somebody that's just beginning and wants to play a song quickly. <laughs> What's up YouTube? Today I am going to show you guys, as promised, how to play the piano. And I just want to break it down like my way. A few things. Sorry, I'm out of breath. I just kicked everybody out so I can record this video. Okay, so um, I made five, seven points. Hopefully it makes sense to you guys. I'm going to show you guys. Look, let's go to the piano. Alright, this is the a standard piano. And it looks like a whole bunch of keys. But I want to show you like all the names of the keys. So if you can tell from here to here, it's repetitive right here. It's repetitive right here. And so on. So, I mean, the easiest way to identify this repetition is through these two, three. Two, three of the black keys. You see that? Two, three, two, three. All right. And so my, this little piano starts with C. So... It'll be um, the one that looks like an L, right before the first black key. So this will be right here. C is right here again. C is right here again. C is right here again. C is right there again. All right, this is C. So if this is C, this is D, E, F, G. Then it's A, B. You know, why isn't it like A, B, C? I don't know, but that's the way it is, so. If you can um, use any any piano, it'll have like a little arrow, and it should be telling you which one is C. But like the bigger piano, this one is like from Toys R Us or whatever. C. This is C. All the black keys. Let me show you. All the black keys are. All of these, they're going upwards is sharps. Going downwards, they're called flats. So going up, look, C, C sharp, D, D sharp. E, F, F sharp, G, F sharp, I mean G sharp, A, A sharp, B. Let's go backwards. B, B flat, A, A flat, blah, 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 blah. you get it. All right, so let's talk about whole tone versus semitone. So let's say we're going to start from the right, like in the beginning. So to go whole tone from C, we know that this is C, whole tone would be D. But the, um, the semitone of C is C sharp. Does that make sense? So whole tone of C, D. Whole tone of D, E. Now what's the whole tone of E? F sharp. But the semitone is going to be F. So um, we're going up semitones. Let's go up semitones. This is what it looks like. Let's go back semitones. All right, but if you go up whole tones, it's going to go like this. And back to the other C. Let's talk about right now about the finger placements. All right, look, 10 fingers. One, two, three, four, five. All right, to play music and to get started easily and play a song that you really love, we're going to use one, three, and five on the right. Can you do this? These two? We're not using them. It's just these three. On the right hand, go, do this. On the left hand, we're just going to use two and uh, two and five. All right, go like this. I usually start with these two, but we're going to start with these two. So, so again, one, two, three, four, five. On this hand, we're going to do one, three, and five. All right? I know this looks weird, but we're using these three fingers. And then on this side... We're going to use two and five. Just these two. All right. It's important to know um, to know chords because chords are what make up a song. So each, each key has its own chord to make a song. Even the black ones. Major chords basically sounds like a happy song. Minor chords, if it starts in a minor, it sets the tone of the song. So if it's a, a minor chord. Well, let's start up here. It sounds sad, but if I play the major chord, it sounds happy, right? Look, this is the major, happy. Minor, sad. Right? So, it's important 
to know um, how to make a minor chord. So for the C major, it looks like this. It's minor chord. The only way to make the minor chord is to take uh, number three and take it down a semitone like this. That's it. Get into finding out the chords of a song and I will show you each chord. I will explain C chord, D chord, E, F, G, A, B. You can just screenshot this and you'll memorize it from there. So this is C, C major. It's C, E, and G. So if you see a song and it has a little C above the letters, that means they're playing it on a C chord. But of course, you're not gonna play it all the way down there. If you're playing with your right hand, you're playing up here. So C, all right? Then D is D, F sharp, and A. For E, it's E, G sharp, and B. All right. For F, F, A, C. All right. For G, G, B, D. G, B, D. For A, A, C, E. B is B, D sharp, and F sharp back at C again. Look at, this is the major, right? Let's take number three down a notch by a semitone. This is its, ma its C minor. This is the minor chord. Now, D, let's make it a minor. Take it down. You see? E, let's take it down. Does that make sense? Look, we're on F. It's just its formula, like the algorithm or whatever. G, So it's like this, like, and that's it. Hey guys, this is me hours later. I just realized, like, I was editing the video right now, and I just realized I didn't make an outro. So I already um, put all the major chords in for you guys. You guys can screenshot, so maybe you guys can start practicing for that. So you can start playing your song. I will teach in the next video about scales and about how to play on piano because it's one thing to just know the notes and just press it but you're not playing the song you're just pressing the chord and then you're pressing the next chord of the song and then you're pressing i'll teach you guys on how to like play the progression the progression of getting the song to flow while you play all right with that being said i hope you guys have a good one this concludes the first part of the amateur pianist player keyboard player you know maybe that's what i'm gonna title it today part one of the series the amateur pianist slash keyboard player all right i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video just like i enjoy making it and um don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and i'll see you guys in my next one part two about uh, skills and progression when we're playing so practice